In this section, we'll be covering routing in detail. So as users interact with our application, our application moves through many different states and Ember.js gives us tools for managing that state in a way that scales with our application. The states in Ember.js is basically represented by a URL and at any given point of time, our application can have one or more active route handlers and the active handlers can change for one of the two reasons. First one, the user interacted with a view which generated an event that caused the URL to change. The user changed the URL manually or the page was loaded for the first time. So here if I go ahead and click on this about us link which will change the URL and will display about skill bakery. Here you can see that the transition is being done from index to about as we are seeing it in the log. So whenever the current URL changes, the newly active route handlers may do one or more of the following. First one, conditionally redirect to a new URL, update a controller so that it represents a particular model, change the template on screen, or place a new template into an existing outlet. And that is what we are doing over here. If you take a look at our code, here we have our about template which says about skill bakery and that's getting printed in the outlet expression that we have in our application template. We can also log route changes by making use of log transitions to true. Now, if your application is one of multiple web applications served from the same domain, it may be necessary to indicate to the router what the root URL for your Ember application is. By default, Ember will assume it is served from the root of your domain. If that's not the case, all you need to do is where you're defining the router, you can extend that in this way. And here you can specify the root URL which could be the name of a directory like this but since we are doing it from the root directory itself we do not need to make use of this so let's come into tot over here so here you can see that in order to define the about route all we did was made use of the app.router.map function and there we said this dot route about is the name of the template that we have created and then we have given it a path about us. We made use of the link to helper. Here we have specified the about path and the about path will automatically call the about template and this will generate the link which says about us. There you go. Here you can see it about us. So in the next lecture we'll see what objects are generated automatically by Ember.js when we define a route.